check out this beaver pond. It's causing water to run over the road. Based on their dam, they're a little bit low, but they're definitely active. I hear a few bullfrogs back there. Let's figure out where the pipe is. That was easy. It should be right here where that pole is. Across the street. Oh, it's a big cast iron culvert. That's awesome. It's been unplugged many other times. Look at all that debris that got blasted out. It's not that deep. I think we can get this going. Let's get geared up. There's so many bullfrogs back there barking. And there's a swarm of mosquitoes. I don't know why they're following me. I just sprayed myself with permethrin spray. They can't land on me. So we're going to put camera number two right about here, hoping for a good angle. Camera number two is rolling. Let's see if we can get this thing unclogged pretty easily. I think we will be able to. Culvert pipe, so it's further out. Huh? Yeah. Further out. Oh, wow, we got it going already. Wow. Whirlpool. I hear it blasting over there. Oh!
Probably we got it going pretty good right now. Ooh. See what's going on on the other side. That's slowed down somehow. There we go. All it took was the handle. Oh, wow. This culvert means business. Beavers are going to be angry. Can you guys see how many mosquitoes are flying around my head? There's so many. Woo! That thing is sucking pretty hard. It may have actually slowed down again. Because <coughs> every time it gets going, it sucks more and more in with its undertow, meaning it keeps needing help. We got that just about fully opened. There's so much debris on the bottom of this pond. When beavers discover it, they'll be able to plug this thing pretty fast. And that being said, I don't believe the beavers can work on this for quite a while. The current's just too strong. I don't think they're able to get near this. They're gonna have to wait. But it's a small pond. It should drop back where it's barely flowing within a couple hours. So they'll definitely be on here tonight. They'll be on the job tonight. Creating a good undertow. This will make the pond drop back between 18 inches and 24 inches tonight. Come take a look at the exiting end. We're actually going to give the exiting end some help. 
that might actually help out over here. It looks like there's some debris getting stuck as it's leaving. A lot deeper than it looks. Oh, here we go. It has sharp lips, so any debris that came through is getting stuck. I think it's flowing good. Whirlpool got huge from it. There's some stubborn sticks there, just can't get them out. But we got that a lot better. It's jamming in the end because it's crinkled by an idiot <clears throat> with an excavator. Do you see how many mosquitoes are buzzing around me on the camera? Look at this, it's insane. It's like a cloud of them hovering above me. Even though I have bug spray and they can't land on me. Keep sucking them in and coughing on them. Okay, so by doing that across the street, we have just increased flow by so much. This thing is blasting so hard. I wouldn't be surprised if this thing's getting 20,000 gallons a minute. That might be hard to fathom how much that is, but an 18 inch culvert can handle 10,000 a minute. And that looks like a two-foot culvert, so it could be close. That might be an exaggeration, but maybe 15,000 a minute is more likely. But this thing's almost at full capacity. That's got some current. If I was just to sit in the water, and that would be quite the slam. I 
That's awesome. I can't wait until the pipes start showing. Shouldn't take long. It's no longer crossing the road. We solved that problem pretty fast. I want to get more of this debris out of here. So we're going to be done with camera two now. And we're just going to have this camera. I want to get a little handsaw out so I can get that one piece out. All clear. We're all clear. flowing pretty good. Let's go look on the other side. Got a big whirlpool going on. Yeah, I could tell we're dropping a bit. Wow, the pressure against my hand. Oh, wow. When I put my hand down in there, I can't keep it straight. I can't. The pressure's so strong. And look at that gross scum it just left on my arm. See that oily sheen coming over here? It's nothing bad. It's just swampy. That was actually kind of cool what it did to my arm. Let me get that ring off. I want to show you again. Watch this. Watch what the oily sheen does to me. <laughs> That's actually kind of cool. It's like it instantly tanned my arm. That was interesting. This thing is releasing a lot of water. Great. But look at the stuff around it. Beavers just have to push that back in. They'll have this solved probably within a half an hour. Since they don't even have to go out and get supplies, it's all around them right here. This clog barely contained any sticks. It was mostly swamp grass and mud. It hasn't really compromised the road yet, but from water being this high, look at the mud it already caused. This truck sank pretty deep. Those log trucks are heavy. They can sink in a lot of stuff. Sink pretty deep. All right, so we're gonna work on getting a trail camera out on one of these. And look at that, the sun finally came out. Maybe that'll scare away the mosquitoes. Look at all the moose tracks too. And what's this beaver pile? Is there a second culvert? Oh, yes. There is a second culvert. It's a matter of finding it. It's not even marked. Gotta research a little bit right now. So, right here, the angle it's going in at, it should be exactly underneath this little hump. I see some leeches. Let's go get the rake back out again. Woo! All right.
right, camera number two is set up and rolling again. Let's try to find this. Oh, it's flowing. It's flowing. We found it. We found it. We found it. It's flowing. This one doesn't go that far. It's underneath all this shrubbery. Oh, I feel it. Yep, it's got damage. It's crinkled from a excavator. There we go. Now we got two culverts draining the pond. It'll drain real fast. This one's flowing good. Flowing good. All right, I need to get on this side. All right, we got that flowing good. I'll be back in a moment. That's stuck pretty well. Doesn't have to be straight, it's just gotta be there so the DOT or whoever's responsible for this road, because this one isn't a private logging road. This one, whoever is responsible may not even know this culvert is there. Some crews just don't take the time into investigating the whole area. By the way, the grass was embanked over it. 
it's been at least a couple years since this one has seen any water. Oh, wow. I don't have a single mosquito around me anymore. Now I got like a hundred black flies following me around instead. Because black flies like bothering you in the sun. Mosquitoes like bothering you when it's dark and cloudy. Now that the sun's come out. I'm leaving that piece of birch wood there on purpose. Hoping it'll catch anything that tries to come by. Beavers are going to have fun tonight. They get to build two dams instead of just one. Let's go shut off camera number two. But first I got to show you how much it has improved. Let's get over there. It's not flowing as hard as the first culvert, but it's doing pretty well. I'm going to shut my camera off and watch me on camera number two get rid of that debris that got stuck in the end, just like the first one. Whoa, look at this big stick. I didn't put that in there. Anything else? A couple. Oh, by loosening that up, we got a few more to come out. Not much. We got that solved pretty easily. And uh, we'll check back in on this whole area on our way back in a few hours. All right, everyone. We've dropped back probably two inches since we started. We still got a massive whirlpool at culvert number one and culvert number two is doing pretty well too. The water crossing the street has stopped. These puddles should dry up soon. All right guys, it's been one hour. I'm not exactly sure how, this wasn't on purpose. I just did a gigantic loop and just happened to come back out on this road because I took this next left. I did not put a trail camera there because I think it's too noticeable from anywhere. These aren't the right kind of trees. My cameras don't blend in with any of these. But if all goes to plan, I might come back here tonight and there's a little cubby hole right across the street on my park. And then I'll put one of my cheaper trail cameras like with a magnet directly on the culvert to see what the beavers are up to. I don't think a beaver is strong enough to get a 100 pound pull force magnet off, so I will risk one of my cheaper cameras. So it's been one hour. What's changed? Culvert 2 is doing well. Culvert number 1 is actually out of the water, meaning we dropped this pond about 4 inches because it was way up here. About a four inch drop. It's still flowing quite a bench. Yeah, see there is some excavator damage from unclogging it in the past. Let's see if we can get any little clumps off it. All right, good enough. Anyways, by tonight, this should be another foot lower. And if it's a foot lower, here's my intention. With a magnet, I might put a trail camera on this or on this, probably this, because I don't want a beaver to try to take it. What is that? Is that some kind of egg? It is some jig jiggly thing. All right, everyone, it's been about six hours. The road has almost completely dried up, except for that little puddle. No more trickling water at all. You see, the pond has dropped back quite a bunch. We couldn't see all these dead cattails. Cattails will actually like the lower muddy water better. Beavers won't though. Look at the pipe now. Remember the water was about four, a little bit more inches up before the water was here. So we lost probably 18 inches so far. And it looks like it'll lose another six or so. Awesome. What do you think of my sandals? I got those at Walmart's discount shelf. 
Only a dollar for the pair. Oh wow, look at the thing, how mangled it is. This pipe is supposed to have a two foot diameter, but look at this crooked piece of metal. That definitely got hit by an excavator. Definitely. These logging companies have been trapping beavers like crazy. It is so hard to find an active colony of beavers. That's a root. Alright, that's pretty open. Alright, how is culvert number two doing? I'm wearing sandals because I got the boots wet now they're upside down in the vehicle. Okay, the water has dropped back enough where can this one even operate if I dug it out more? Yeah, it, it could. It definitely could. But this culvert is definitely higher than the other one. Once that culvert over there gets down another six inches, this one wouldn't be able to run. It's a secondary flow culvert. Yep, that one's bone dry. Gonna leave it as is. Coming back over to the other, it has calmed down a ton since this morning. Still have no idea where the beavers are. All right, everyone, we're back another day. Cause I wanna see if beavers actually did build back or not. All right, but before we do that, what is in front of my car? Look at these butterflies. Why are there so many of them right here? What are they eating? Out of these. Not quite sure what they're eating, but I've been noticing a lot of these out on the roads this week. There's an insane amount of butterflies just all over the roads lately. You try to avoid them as best you can, but they're all just sitting in the road all over the area. This is the biggest grouping I've seen so far. I hear a bullfrog. Not exactly sure what they're doing, but time to go see the pond. Pond's not dropped back too low. Back at the culvert. <gasps> we do have beavers after all. Nice. Now that we have a definite answer that there are beavers, we're gonna put a trail camera here tonight. It'll be dark in about four hours, so I'll be back. A lot more butterflies. A bunch of bullfrogs too. So last night they clogged this thing up real good. Beavers. What, what I actually think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, remember that metal pole I put right there, I'm temporarily gonna move it back here, stick it in the ground very well, and I'm gonna use a magnetic tripod with a trail camera for tonight. Now we gotta get this stuff back out of here first. Get all this debris out of here. They got it pretty good, huh? Oh wow, goes in there like three feet. This is a whole nother job. And this one they probably didn't touch because it dropped back. Yup.
All right, everyone, camera number two is rolling. Woo! Got that going good. That is completely back open again. That was pretty easy to get out of there. The excavator damage is sharp and actually helps them clog it. So I put this pole back. You might be wondering why I put it in crooked like that. It's because I'm gonna put a magnet with a trail camera. I want it aimed. I will get the angle perfect tonight. Not putting a trail camera up now. I'll be back in about four hours, around seven o'clock p.m to put up a camera. Beavers probably won't be active in the daytime and I don't want someone stealing the camera because that's way too obvious. And I'm gonna park right over there. There's like a street that no longer exists, but there's a couple parking spaces probably from hunters. Camera off. And I'll see you guys tonight. Coming back, it's getting later out. Still got that big frenzy of butterflies there. Road is completely dried out now. Have beavers come back at all yet? It does not look like they have come back yet. So, it's gonna be getting dark shortly. So I'm gonna go over here and park but I'm not getting ready for bed yet. I'm probably gonna drive around moose watching for about an hour after dark. Oh, this looks like a perfect spot to go. Looks like, yeah, there's no recent tracks. This looks like somewhere someone would bring a Jeep up that steep sandy hill and through the mud. All right, I'm hoping for the best tonight. I just sat there with that camera. That one has a screen so you can see exactly what it sees to make sure you get the right angle. At first I had it like two feet away. It was way too close. You couldn't see anything. So back there you see the culvert entrance and you see about four or five feet out. So we should be able to see them uh, slowly building it. That's a time-lapse camera. It's making a 15 second video clip every minute. It doesn't need motion detecting. It will turn on every minute no matter what. I stuck that thing in the ground. Hopefully beavers won't mess with that because it's a piece of metal. That's one of the expensive trail cameras, so that one should do a good job. You see it's just stuck on there with a magnet. So that one should get a decent view of the beavers. And we also have a second camera that is under motion activation right here. Oh, that rock was a couple inches under before we started. Now it's just peeking out. This camera's on motion sensing. 
who knows? It's worth a shot. I hope no one takes them. It's about to be dark very soon. So most people driving by wouldn't even notice. I'm going to get out of here so I don't draw attention. I do hear a vehicle in the distance coming. Alrighty. Let's hope that works. Alright, I'm going out for a little drive to look for moose and stuff. If those cameras are still there when I get back, then I think we're safe for the night. Because this is the time someone would steal them while it's still light. I just got bit alive by mosquitoes. My arms are so itchy. I have a few dozen on each one. I'm trying not to itch because I know that'll just make it worse. I'm using a permethrin bug spray, which I thought it worked good when I first got it. It seemed to work, but now the only thing working for me now is repel high deet content. That I don't even have on me. All right, everyone, we're back. I'm parked for the night there. Leaving the vehicle running for a few minutes to heat it up before I go to sleep. I got everything moved. I move all my gas cans and spare tires out of the back so I can sleep. I'm always a bit nervous when I'm in these swamps at night. You don't want to run into a pissed off moose. They will try to hurt you, but it's rare. It's rare when they're angry like that. Anything happening yet? We're here at the beaver culvert. Amazingly, they have not come yet. Cameras are still set up and rolling. Can you guys see on the surface of the water? There's so much steam. Because the water's warm, but yet it's pretty chilly out. Alright, I'm hoping when I step back out in the morning, they will have built like they did the last night. Kind of surprised they didn't start yet. Good morning, everyone. It's about 5.30 and we're heading on over to the beaver pond. We'll be over there in just about five seconds. see if they clogged anything up. It's a chilly morning. Supposedly it's 37 out. It's a beautiful morning. <sighs> no beavers. Just my luck. They do it on the night I'm not here. But the next day they don't do it. These are so sneaky. Every time I try using a trail camera, it never works out. They're so sneaky. Alright, maybe they did it yesterday early morning when the sun was first coming up. But that's not like a beaver. We'll leave it a few more hours. We've got ourselves an early morning moose staring at us. Ah, there it goes. You guys don't know how annoying this is to have to now remove these cameras. After reviewing the footage, not one beaver went through it. In fact, the motion activated camera didn't get set off once throughout the entire night. The time lapsing camera, I will show that at the end of this video. It does have a good time lapse of the water reducing. But also, what's cool is throughout the night, hundreds of fish, tiny fish, I'd say five inches and under, are using that culvert to get upstream. So the beavers were blocking the flow of fish and there's a ton of them using it now. You 
you know, maybe the beavers just didn't come in there tonight because that is likely a secondary pond. I can't find a lodge. Off to the right is their massive beaver pond right here, which is mainly a river. They dammed it, but because the area, the terrain is kind of flat, it flooded for hundreds of feet. So that's a very big pond. And now we're coming back to where we put those trail cameras. As you can see, compared to back there, this pond is dinky. It's just water storage to them. No beavers.